what One City Mission is today. It's an experience where I encounter the other in his need uh, because I want the other to rediscover himself, uh, herself, uh, and become alive again uh, and take charge uh, of their life, meaning uh, get off the street, look for services if they want, otherwise just to have a moment uh, of uh, fresh air in, uh, in the difficult life. Uh, uh, of the street. Uh, I discover a new ability to uh, love people who don't think like me, don't act like me, have different beliefs and different backgrounds. Yeah. Identification to have a more personal experience and relationship with Christ through my relationship with the poor, but without preaching them on trying to convert them. Work. Uh, in my experience on charity work since I was a teenager, as I went to all the different places and what you do you put yourself at the service of the other you help them uh, and you do whatever you ask to do but there was something missing uh, and uh, the something that was missing uh, is that i had no challenge that the charisma of Giussani to become alive in the situation so i care about the indifference uh, for the need of the other that's what we're trying to do to break this wall of indifference and creating a, a community where the cop can see us uh, talking to the drug dealers uh, and the drug dealers can see us uh, talking to, to the homeless until they start talking to each other in a way that is not the usual. The example of the cop is the beginning of a new piece uh, in the city where everybody is a conflict uh, and a struggle. So I want to break that. how One City Mission has developed its action in the city. One, the first, what we call the street visit, Eddie, Eddie Manassa said his name because he used to have this, uh, the run, the, so like the Jesus run, the midnight run. So I used to call it One City Mission run. So Eddie said, we are not running. <laughs> we are visiting people. Uh, and so it became the street visit. And with Eddie and Martha, we started, first we were visiting one person, then two people, then three, and then it became, uh, you know, that we were arrived to visit the 60 people when we used to go outside the Oliveri shelter and uh, uh, the other people in Park Avenue South. And then there's uh, the experience of Paolo. Paolo proposed one city mission in his office, uh, meaning that uh, during lunchtime, uh, people cook uh, and go out. So he found a way to answer to something that was close to his way of uh, sharing the need of the people in the Wall Street area and that's the other way of doing One City Mission. And then there is a new way, more recent, and talking more than one year now, they are what I call uh, the community points. points. Uh, we have two community points, uh, one in the Upper West Side uh, and one we just started at uh, Washington Square Park. And uh, what, are, what is the characteristic of the community points? What do they have in common? They both started because I was asked to start. But I received a call from someone who lives there who did not know me and said, you know, I go to work every day, sometimes I'm with my daughter, and every block I see two, three, four homeless. I don't know what to do. Can you help me to give an answer to this? So yes, we'll start. So, we always answered soon somebody initiative. So if, by the way, at the end of this conversation, you think about uh, uh, doing something with One City Mission, uh, I'm going to ask you, what do you see that bothers you and how can we answer that?